from beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Dumping it off for Johnson. About how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! They'll run for the first time with Johnson. Finding some room at midfield. There goes Duke Johnson. Touchdown, Chicago. Duke Johnson, his first touchdown on the year. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. He's going to look deep down the field, and he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Detroit! Detroit! Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And going deep for Hill. And this is... Oh, my goodness! He pulled it in one-handed. They're able to convert on third Lepper. down, and that sets Lepper. up a first and goal. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the... Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss, and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game, and the head coach said, I'll take him, I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way, and the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. He'll look to throw. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll look to throw here on first down. Josh Doxson's got it complete. And all the way down to the 39. A huge play there for Chicago. 42 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10.
watching now, Barney, Barney. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's hauled in by Dogson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 that one goes for 24 yards so five plays on this drive charles all passes all completions and just like that they're in the red zone and don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now because all they've done is throw the football if you want to run it now you may very well have them fooled A first down carry here for Johnson. And he's able to find some room as they get him down after a good run. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been Detroit, successful doing Detroit. it. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Josh Doxson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bears will extend their lead. And this is no good. All over the place. It's way too early for that. Oh, Stick no, to what works for you. Down I'll double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Never, and a never. nice gain of 21 yards. No, 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 no. Check. Looked like the defense Patrick. put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people on the run had to get on his horse still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down back to back good plays have him on the move on first down now the pitch to Freeman and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. to throw on second down to the right side complete to Taylor and he'll go down here at the 35 yard line and they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down all right now lucky 56 lucky 56 Detroit Detroit Allen gonna try and throw on third down open man is Taylor he's got it Touchdown. In for the score. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. They go play action here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Burton. Quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed. But they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Escaping the pressure right. Able to get away. That's why he keeps the legs churning. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be fourth down. 
Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And got his man complete! The gain of 39 that time. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. Darren Lee there to get him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Allen. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Eddie Goldman continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. The Dolphins on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 16. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw here. Over the middle, complete. That's Cole. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running the win. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's Donnie Jones now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. On the NFL scoreboard, second quarter up in Minneapolis. Early on, it's the Vikings in the driver's seat. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! They toss to Freeman. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Detroit, exactly Detroit. what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Freeman again, a first down carry. And room there to work it inside the 25. 
A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, we know he's an electric runner. Earlier this half, we were wondering, you were wondering how they were going to bottle him up at different levels. That was your suggestion. Some mixed results. Yeah, certainly, because we have seen him bottled up at times. You've seen him playing very well. We've also seen him pop the cork a few times and get out of there, haven't we? <laughs> we have indeed. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Freeman, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have tied it. Now they can take the lead with the extra point. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little Detroit, more consistency. Detroit. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Over the middle, hold in by Smith Schuster. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. This quarterback now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flush to his right, underneath for Johnson. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Back to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cole. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First down, he'll drop to throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. That just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. Third down here. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Play fake. He'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Well, not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Detroit! Detroit! Here's Allen on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The safety Keanu Neal there to knock that one free. 
Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. to the air on second down. It's Allen. That's caught by the big tight end. Dallas got him. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Field. Here's Allen. And going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get <laughs> crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And now I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he fires one that's intercepted. A first NFL pick for Terrell Edmonds. And he's given his guy a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So after the INT, it's Allen eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw. And this is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for the rookie Josh Allen. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. What you just saw there, first round talent. Second year, even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. A great play. And it's tough for these guys. You've had to half number two. 
So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Detroit. Detroit. Now Allen throwing on second down. They're going deep for Hill. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. The Dolphins on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Allen going to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off around the 37. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defensive coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed the quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out because the current formula is not working. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Now back to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. Okay, partner. No surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, Allen. Space to maneuver at the 40. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the oh, team. No, Height, weight, six. speed, all of that. Six. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked That's about him. Body, the way he body. goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Allen now on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. The rookie Josh Allen with his fourth touchdown pass of the contest. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And he's able to get it back to right around the 
27. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. A handoff, Devontae Freeman pushing through the contact. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Allen looks to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Throwing his Allen on third. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And this is going to be no good. He misses it off to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They give him a gain of 37. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Chris Jones. In there to sack him for a loss of six. On play action, they'll throw. The deep ball for Dotson. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Flushed out right. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Just a five yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know no, that. No, no, They're no, going Jack, for Patriot, it on fourth. Patriot. Now let's go. 319. 319. Check safety, check safety. Ah! From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first over, and goal. Over, over, over. All right, here we go. Green. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. A gain of seven that time, second and goal. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Detroit! Detroit! Under 
They're going to look to throw. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Bears cut into that lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catches, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. Tyreek Hill set to return it. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Go, Without a go, doubt. Control go, go. that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete. The intended receiver, Taewon Taylor. That'll bring up second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. to throw again. Allen under pressure and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Yannick Ngakwe in there to get him and that's sack number six for him on the year. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and 16. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. The first NFL pick for the rookie Denzel Ward. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes. We're trying to put him on the ground. They'll drop the throw. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter.
The Bears on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and 17. They'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Gun, Bottom gun. line, though, gun, it comes gun. back to the guy throwing them. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that will get him one closer. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Dolphins now. Freeman here to begin the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Deron Harmon makes the tackle. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage, they've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. the gun it's Allen swings it out to the flat for Freeman so he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else give him three on the play and that's going to bring up a fourth down whether you're playing West Coast offense or not one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down in other words look for the big shot but be smart I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect you. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Andre Howe. And they are going to set up sharp at the 40-yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, and Joe Namath, he did it three times. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. 
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. play fake and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds that one goes for 24 yards I do have to admit I like it when it all comes together when the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set them back for second down. Oh, there's no doubt that this is a huge defensive series right here. They've got to hold them to a field goal attempt or less. Otherwise, this game just might be out of reach. Let's see if they can hunker down and get it done. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. Oh, leaves him behind on the spin. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! On third and long, it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And Lambo will put this one through, and that will swell the lead to 16. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Decent start there to the drive. Big hill to climb, needing two touchdowns, also a two two-point conversion. So, partner, how do you eat an elephant? I don't eat an elephant. Uh, eat elephant. <laughs> well, if you do, you do it one bite at a time. Okay. This is the way they've got to play this. One okay. play at a time. Yes, there's urgency, but they have to be careful as well. Let's go with like a 50 ounce <laughs> robot. Yeah. Yeah. One bite at a time. All right, I'm with you. And they're going to get this all the way inside the Miami 15. It's a big time play there for the Bears. 42 yards. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. take this one up to about the 13. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and ten. Throwing on first down is Allen. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And it sets him back for second down. Second down, here's Allen. They're going deep for Hill. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by the rookie Denzel Ward. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a cornerback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. to throw now on second and ten and he comes back with one complete and he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line eight yards on the completion but now they face third down time for a break we're back to finish this one off after this the Bears on third down they're struggling 0 for 6 thus far here it's third and two Throw here. Open man, Smith Schuster. It's complete. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. And the pressure gets to him again. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. throw he's gonna let it fly and that's caught inside the 35 give him 30 yards there and at this stage down in the second half looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker and they did i think you're exactly right i don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well he's trying to figure out how to get the ball and this is intercepted and that should do it monte nicholson picks it He's at the 40, past the 20, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and that pushes the lead up to 23. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
They are, by the way, into the fourth quarter now in Detroit, Oakland. Raiders Detroit. continuing to roll. They have opened their lead even further. A victory Detroit, there would mean they're sixth on the year. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because right, if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering what's going on. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Josh Jones. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, right, here we go. they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A Miami first down and a 14-yard pickup. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. So Allen's going to look to throw, and he's got it, and he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Now Allen again, escaping the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Allen to throw once more. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Trying to bust out of that losing funk. And these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And it really came together with a good week of practice. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once. We were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game, but these two teams... They had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop.